Unit 6.2, Body Planes, Directions, and Body Cavities. First thing we're talking about is the anatomical position. So anytime you were talking about body directions, directional terms associated with the body, you were going to assume that the, the patient is in the anatomical position. This is with the body upright, face, fr uh, say face front, looking forwards, arms at the sides with the palms forward and your feet are parallel meaning your toes are pointing straight, your palms are facing forward. So anytime you're referring to anything directional term wise, you're assuming the patient is going to be in an anatomical position. Body planes. So we have three different body planes that we're going to talk about. So what are they? So the body planes are imaginary lines draw through, drawn through the body to separate the body into sections. This gives us a reference point when we're talking about different directional terms. So we have our mid-sagittal or frontal plane, which is this one, that divides the body right in half and to your right and your lefts. Next is frontal or coronal plane, which is going to divide your body into front and back. And then you have the transverse plane, which pretty much cuts you right at the belly button, cuts you and divides the body into the top and the bottom half. So the directional terms that we will be talking about these are all the terms that are associated whenever you're referring to different parts of the body. So you have superior, inferior, ventral, dorsal, and then you have anterior and posterior, which are uh, referred to the same thing as ventral and dorsal, cranial, caudal, medial, lateral, proximal, and distal. And we will go into detail of all those in the next coming slides. All right, so talking about the transverse plane. So the transverse, again, is the one that will divide you into the top and the bottom. So our directional terms associated with the transverse plane, we have superior and inferior. So superior, that's body parts above other body parts. So for example, your shoulders are superior to your hips because your shoulders are above your hips. So then the opposite of superior will be inferior. So your body parts below another body part, body part. So for example, your shoulder is inferior to your head because your head is above your shoulder, so your shoulders are below, so your shoulders are below your head, so your shoulders are inferior in reference to your head. Continuing on with the transverse plane, so in more terms associated with this plane, you have uh, cranial and caudal. So cranial or cephalic, so think of your cranium, that refers to your head, so mean near the head, and then you have caudal, which is the opposite, meaning near the feet. Next is our mid-sagittal plane, so that's the one that divides you into right and left. So the directional terms associated with this plane are medial and lateral. So medial refers to the body parts close to the midline. So your mid-sagittal plane creates this imaginary midline down the middle of your body. Basically it splits right from the top of your head, through the middle of your nose, down the chest bone, and then divides all the way down um, in between the legs. So medial will be closer to the midline, lateral body parts that are away from the midline. So medial, think middle, middle of the body, lateral towards the side. All right, next uh, plane we have is the frontal plane. So directional terms associated with the frontal plane are your ventral and dorsal. So again, this is your a picture of your frontal or coronal plane. So coronal and frontal plane are the same things. It's going to divide you into front and back, or using the correct uh, directional terms. You have ventral and dorsal. So ventral, these are body parts on the front of the body. So for instance, your belly button is on the ventral side of your body because your belly button is on the front side of the body. Dorsal means to the back of the body, so your butt or your gluteus maximus is on the dorsal side of your body because it's on the back side of your body. So continuing on with frontal plane directional terms, we have anterior and posterior. So again, these are very similar to ventral and dorsal. So anterior refers to body parts on the front of the body and posterior refers to parts on the back of the body. So again, anterior and ventral both refer to the front of the body and posterior and dorsal both refer to the back side of the body. So proximal and distal. Now whenever we talk about proximal and distal, we're talking about, most of the time we're talking about our appendages, meaning our arms and our legs. So proximal means nearest the point of origin or attachment. 
So for instance, looking at this picture with the arm, so the point of attachment or origin where it originated would be at the shoulder. So this is the proximal end of the arm. Distal means farthest from the point of origin or attachment. So again, your fingers and your hands are going to be the distal end of your arm because it's farthest away from the attachment. Your arm attaches to the body at the shoulder. So your fingers and your hands are going to be the farthest away from it, meaning that that's the dorsal end of the arm. Just like with your legs, your toes and your ankles will be the dorsal end of the leg. Your hip will be the proximal because it's nearest the point of origin or attachment because your leg attaches to the body at the hip. All right, next we're going to talk about body cavities. So these are spaces within the body that contain, that contain vital organs. First we have dorsal. So again, dorsal means towards the back. So that's the back cavity. So your dorsal cavity is going to contain your cranial cavity, which contains the brain. Then you have your spinal cavity. That contains your spine. So those two, your cranial and your spinal, are both located within the dorsal cavity because they're on the back side of the body. Next we have our ventral cavity, which is everything on the front. So ventral means refers to on the front. So first is your thoracic. Thoracic means chest. Next you have abdominal, so your abdomen, all your stomach and intestines. And then G refers to your pelvic cavity. That contains your pelvis, reproductive organs. Then moving back up to the top, we have your orbital, which contains our eyes. Nasal, that contains nasal pertaining to the nose. That's our nose cavity. And then buccal, if you break that word down, buc refers to the cheek. So AL is pertaining to, so pertaining to the cheek. So basically everything in the mouth, the cheek, the teeth, the tongues, that is your buccal cavity. So within the dorsal cavity, your cranial, ca so dorsal cavity contains your cranial cavity and your spinal cavity. So your cranial cavity contains the brain. Spinal cavity encloses the spinal cord. Those are the two cavities located within the dorsal cavity on the back side of the body. Moving to the ventral cavity, we have our thoracic cavity, which contains the esophagus, trachea, bronchi, heart, lungs, and large blood vessels. Obviously coming off of our heart, we have very large blood vessels, so that's why they're all contained within the thoracic cavity. Next we have our abdominal pelvic cavity, so within the abdominal cavity contains the stomach, small intestine, most of the large intestine, appendix, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, and spleen. So all of those organs are located within the abdominal cavity. Next, moving down, we have the pelvic cavity that contains the urinary bladder, reproductive organs, and the last part of the intestines. So orbital cavity, moving back up, contains the eyes. Nasal cavity contains the nose structures. And then our buccal cavity contains the teeth and the tongue. All right, abdominal quadrants. So make sure you're keeping your quadrants and your cavities separate. So first is umbilicus, basically where our belly button is, right in the middle. Then we have our right upper quadrant, or RUQ. Right lower quadrant, RLQ. Left upper quadrant, LUQ. And lower left quadrant, LLQ. We also have abdominal regions. So we have abdominal quadrants and regions. First region in the middle again, middle section is umbilical. Top right is going to be your right hypochondriac. Underneath the uh, right hypochondriac is your right lumbar. And then your right iliac. Then the very top middle region is going to be your epigastric. So epi means upon, gast means stomach. So upper or upon the gastric, uh, sorry, the stomach. Left hypochondriac, far left side, followed by the left lumbar and then the left iliac. And then our last one is our hypogastric, which is hypo means below or under, gas means stomach. So again, use your medical terms to kind of dictate where all these different regions are located. And then that concludes our video.